This is just a quick reference video for filing a notice of appearance if you are a paralegal, a legal assistant, or another legal professional who is related to at least one attorney in your law firm. So right now I'm on my dashboard. I am logged in as an other legal assistant. Now what I do here is I click submit a filing, access a case or claim, I'm going to select my notice of appearance or representation. Now this is going to take me to the locate a claim screen. I can fill out any of these three boxes. I'm going to go ahead and use the middle one, but you are welcome to use any of the three. So once I enter this information, we see we got a claim match. I'm going to indicate that the attorney is representing uh, this party on the full claim, not just a case. And now you'll see here that I have this drop down, which says, which attorney are you filing on behalf of? If I click this, you can see I've, I've got the option of choosing any of the attorneys in my firm that I'm related to. So I'm going to choose another. I am representing the employer and the attorney. There are no limits to my representation. I click my verification, verify the address of my firm. If I have multiple firm addresses, they would display here. And then I'm going to enter the attorney ID for the attorney that I indicated up at the top here. So those need to match. Now, if I go through this affidavit of service step, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to select the parties that I need to serve. Now you can see here, I'll select this declaration and now it's going to ask for the full name of the signatory. Now this is particularly important. This name must match the name of the campus profile of the person who is submitting this form. So you wouldn't type your attorney's name. You would type your own name exactly as it appears in your campus profile. You can see here I'm Melissa Lewis in this situation. So I'm just going to type in my name. Now a really important thing to keep in mind is it has to match exactly. So if you add even like a space or an extra character, the system is going to believe that you are not signing it as yourself. So just make sure you check and make sure that you didn't add any extra spaces in there if you're getting that error. Now finally, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click submit form on this one, wait for this to process. And then once I've uh, completed this filing and it's been submitted to the department, as long as there were no limitations on um, the notice of appearance, like a time limitation or some kind of spe specific limit limitation to a case or a claim, I will now have access to this file. You can see here I can click here. And now I can see this injury for Dale. Additionally, you can see now I had five open claims, now I have six open claims. Um, so in the My Claims queue, now we can see that injury for Dale as well.